All right, so once you've logged in, uh, here's your control panel. You have your scanners, your news, your alerts. Um, uh, just off the jump, I'll go ahead and get started. Uh, typically, we'll come over to your news. Um, I'll go ahead and hit filings and promo. I'll filter from triple zero one typically to either a dollar or 10 cents. It just varies on um, what price range you're looking for. Uh, let's see, let's see, all right. Go ahead and hit filter. It's only showing three stocks. Uh, during the day, uh, market hours will definitely see a lot more. Um, so today being Saturday, it's a little slow. Typically I'll read all the news that are showing just to get an eye for um, different press releases because all press releases are not good. Definitely not always a good signal to buy. All right, moving back over to the control tower for scans. So, uh, I like to set up my easy scanner. Um, I'll set it up from triple zero one to 10 cents. There's so many different amounts uh, you can do um, different ways. Uh, you can set your scanners, change a percent. I typically will go $15,000 at least in dollar volume. Um, here we go. I'll go ahead and hit filter now. I'll go to change a percent to kind of see the stocks that did well, uh, the stocks that didn't do so well. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is typically Thursday and Fridays are good days to buy cheap shares because you'll see people exiting for what is some call beer money. So it's a good day to position yourself uh, Thursdays and Fridays if you like the company and the DD to uh, possibly buy cheaper shares in those days. So here's some of the runners from Friday. Um, during the day, it, it moves a lot uh, because of showing real time. You can also check uh, different sectors. Um, keep in mind trends change throughout the year. Um, just know that and be able to position yourself. Self, I apologize. Um, oil and gas, definitely. Um, I think uh, we'll be coming back into play as well as gold. And keep an eye also on solar energy companies as well. All right, moving along. Um, to set your watch list up, now you just go ahead and uh, add different tickers from here. Um, what I do appreciate about this is you can get in on uh, Windows uh, typically uh, pretty fast. So if I go ahead and click on this stock, for example, OPTI, I'll go ahead and set up the level two. During the day, level two is both sides. You'll be able to see real time things changing. Move over to your right side. You can also see the trades, uh, the dollar volume. Um, I love scans because it's a platform where you can see a lot at once. So you can go ahead and get into your charts. Uh, for those that are into the charts, you can change it up a little bit, customize it how you see fit. Here's just some of the different ways. I typically leave it on candle. And I'll type in maybe four to five of my uh, stocks that uh, I'm interested in. So let's go a couple of my favorites. Um, when you hit the pivot point, I'll show you some of the different resistant levels. Those are very uh, valuable as well. The fundamentals, you'll be able to see the, the share structure, the company profile, the financials, um, short interest as well. And also if they've been having news, you'll be able to see this as well, where you can check Yahoo. Um, Global News Wires or iHub and OTC Markets. All right, moving along. I like the way you can maneuver, as I said, out of different windows, have multiple stocks up. Um, of your favorite stocks to kind of keep an eye on uh, different things going on. You'll be able to see, um, typically when we do buy and invest in stocks, we definitely do our due diligence and see where the company's recently be tra been trading. When I like to mention uh, buying in at or near the bottom, people can kind of see why. Um, stocks typically go, go up and down, but timing is key. So for example, with RBNW, they had dilution around the 0012 to 14 range. Um, hopefully um, some were able to take advantage of that on Friday. Um, I'm still holding for much higher. Attorney letter was filed. They did need to make some edits um, for the OTC marks to go ahead and remove the yield sign and now show uh, to remove the yield sign and show current. So here's uh, some of the different ones. I like to come back. You can set up your scanners. Pro scanner works pretty darn well as well. You can choose an analytic. Um, during the market hours, you'll be able to really do um, to set these how you see fit to um, really get a good, good alerts um, depending on what you're looking for. 
Um, this is uh, one of the favorite ones, Pro Scanner. I just went over Easy Scanner. Breakout Scanner I like as well. Um, they're not gonna show any much. Um, they're not gonna show much right now on the clock since the market's closed. Everybody has different ways they like to set up theirs. Um, typically what I'll do is just set up so if any 10 million share buy blocks come in from triple zero one to my apologies, 10 cent, I'll get a notification. And I'll go ahead and put that in here. I'll go to update during market hours. It will have a lot of different colors uh, coming in uh, real time where you can see the new highs for different stocks of your price range that you set up. So this is kind of how I operate um, when it comes to the breakout um, section. It will be very co color coordinated. I'll also make another video on Monday so you can really deep dive and see how it works during real time. Um,